I hope you enjoy this new calligraphy short film, a first test using my new professional 12K cinema camera. I can zoom in and create incredible camera moves. I cannot do this while I'm busy writing, but I can do it in post-production and still output full HD. Enjoy the pen manipulations and dynamic pen strokes. You'll see creative examples of how I deal with errors too. Afterwards, I'll discuss some more artistic aspects of my interpretation. This wobble is a problem. I'll keep calm and carry on. I added a quote. Creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes. Art is knowing which ones to keep. I don't think I can keep this mistake. Can I cover it with a deliberate smudge? Now what to make of this?
the Blitz. Blitzkrieg. You may have thought, why did I spell calm with a K? Is it a mistake? Not really. I enjoy writing that letter. I began writing trials, thinking of short phrases with multiple letters K. It's a bit frivolous, but when I wrote keep calm, I saw that the pattern of repeating the letter K looked better than correctly using a C for calm. The angular K fits the visual rhythm better than a rounded form. The phrase remains intelligible. I made it clear this was deliberate by similarly misspelling carry on. Many calligraphers write thoughtless words or just alphabets. Well, that's understandable. They love letters, not so much creativity with language. I played on this in the opening title. I presented the German and Dutch word calligraphy after my first K. That was a tease to suggest I might write that word. I followed the K by writing A and L, but I was writing calm. I used a K for better visual rhythm, but in later research I realised that calm is spelt with a K in Flemish. In Flanders Fields is a well-known war poem relating to Allied deaths in World War I battlefields in Belgium and France. Makeshift graves soon bloomed with poppies. The flower became a symbol of remembrance for lost soldiers. Was the Flemish spelling the reason I spelt calm with K? Not at the time, but my later investigation of an instinct reveals deeper meaning than I had first perceived. I chose to add a quote by Scott Adams. Creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes. Art is knowing which ones to keep. I kept the K's despite the misspelling. What did I know then? Less than I do now after investigation of instinct. This is one of the purposes of art for me to bring an impulsive idea to a rational supposition. The meaning remains open to question. After completion, the art is still in progress. Other mistakes needed correction, or at least a disguise. A hand wobble while writing came from a sudden fear that recording may have stopped. I hesitated, glancing up to check the monitor. Fear has no place in calligraphy. I filmed a few other renditions, but decided this was the best, despite the wobble. Collaging the word keep over the worst of the wobble covered most of the error. I also covered an accidental smudge with a deliberate one. I bombed it. Then I repeated it as a dynamic element. It adds a bolder use of red than the red words. You know, the phrase keep calm and carry on originated in a motivational poster by the British government in 1939 in preparation for World War II. The spatter I added hinted that the top three red marks were enemy aircraft blitzing Britain in the following years. The lower one is slightly calmer. A citizen fleeing on the ground, perhaps. That's my afterthought. I just did it at the moment. Others may see it differently, of course. Art remains open to creative interpretations. 
I don't know when the accidental smudge happened. It may have begun with a hazard of making fast strokes with these so-called automatic pens. The sides are open, meaning ink loaded inside can shoot out after a stroke finishes. A blob can be thrown elsewhere onto the writing paper. I must have smudged it before I even saw it. Who knows, but it needed correction. Erasure, by careful scraping with a sharp, curved blade, is sometimes possible. However, especially given the quotation, I took an alternative approach. It expanded the artistic concept while covering the error. A double bonus. In the end, my work is just one more parody of the classic poster. It was not issued during the war, but was rediscovered decades later. I couldn't think of anything better to write, but I did keep calm and carry on with my work. Still good advice for all of us, eh? This piece may not be my most impressive work, but it has been my current work, so it deserved my all, despite being a free giveaway. It's allowed me to test my new camera and production workflow while continuing to explore meaning in art and language. My production tools included pens that cost pennies relative to lenses that cost over a grand, and a camera that cost $10,000. Maybe this investment is just toys for the boys. It's also part of a continual investment to expand my artistic reach. Generally, an artist's most important investment is in time, a lifetime. And for passionate amateurs, making time is crucial, difficult as that is. Calligraphy tools are cheap. Learning calligraphy is long. For us all, what we put in corresponds to what we get out of any endeavour. Respect for veterans who gave their all, commanded by government. Both sometimes had to act on instinct more than knowledge. Artists may do so with relatively insignificant risks. Shout out in the comments. If you like and subscribe, my videos will get seen by more people. Please do engage. Thanks for watching. Find more on my educational platform called Calligraphy TV. You'll find free previews and worthy investments in advancing your calligraphy. They help fund my continual investment in the same. Ciao amigos. Arigato gozaimashite. Or as we say in Irish, slancho wahagiv.